<clears throat> hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to Liza's BLTs. What's a BLT? It's a body love talk where we talk about everything from emotional eating, boundaries, confidence, self care, self love, all of those things in between. Who am I? I am Liza Lomax. I am a transformational mind, body, and food coach. So I get to help folks <clears throat> drop weight without dieting and without exercising. I'm probably thinking, how do I do that? By helping them transform their relationship with their body. How do I do that? By reframing and reconditioning all those thoughts, patterns, habits, sabotaging behaviors, stories you've been telling yourself over and over and over again. We go through a lot of conditioning at a very, very young age. So rewiring and reframing a lot of your beliefs. But today, <clears throat> I'm not going to talk about that. I was in a group earlier this week and speaking, and we were on the subject of emotional eating. And so I wanted to share with you some of my thoughts on emotional eating and go a little bit in depth more of what emotional eating is and some tools to give you that can help maybe combat the emotional eating just a little bit. So first of all, emotional eating is just a symptom of an avoidance of something that you may not want to have a face-to-face, heart-to-heart conversation about a symptom of something that you are avoiding. What are you avoiding? Eating is human nature, okay? <clears throat> we have to eat to survive. Wanting comfort food is human nature. Instead, the real issue is the uncomfortable emotion, your feeling that's causing you to turn to food as that coping mechanism, as that numbing mechanism. So what are you avoiding? What don't you want to deal with? What don't you want to feel? We have been conditioned to not show our emotions, to push them down. It's, it's you know, we, we don't show our emotions. It's a sign of weakness, you know, push, push, push down. And we use whatever means necessary to push them down and emotional eating and eating is one of the things food in general is one of the things we use. We use food to fill our bodies. So we don't feel an emotion and we all do this. You're lying to yourself if you say you don't. So on the subject of conditioning, and I've, I'm sure you've heard this before if you've listened to some of my other videos. Um, if you identify as a woman, you have been conditioned to be an unpaid caregiver for the rest of your life. This is a harsh, harsh reality. This is specifically hard for mothers because your needs, your wants, your desires go on the back burner to everyone else's. You have been conditioned to believe that it is selfish to put yourself first. Emotions are a weakness. You gotta push them away, push them down, do whatever means necessary. You cannot be priority number one. Certainly not, that's selfish, that's undeserving. This is an old paradigm way of thinking. Old beliefs that are not even ours that have been passed down from generation to generation. But it's not our parents' fault. It's not our parents' parents' fault. They only had those tools at the time to instill in us. Those are the tools that they were given. In order for us to truly give all, all of us to others, to give everything, we have to take care of ourselves first. We have to put that oxygen mask on ourselves first. It's plain and simple. Oxygen mask on first. So how can we fix this? How can we change this? First of all, I have to tell you, you're not broken. You do not need to be fixed. What needs to be fixed and or changed is the beliefs, the habits, the stories, the sabotaging patterns, all that stuff you've been telling yourself. 
bullying yourself about, emotionally eating about. You need to deal with that first. You need to deal with that. Put your big people pants on and do the work to shift it all. Do the work to reframe those beliefs. You're probably thinking, how can I stop eating emotionally? To try to help stop emotional eating. I'm gonna give you a couple tips, okay? One, keep a food diary. Write down whatever you eat, how much you eat, when you eat, what you're feeling when you eat, and how hungry are you? Over time, you might see patterns. You'll see you'll, the, the, this connection will be revealed between the mood and food. I'm a firm believer in intuitive eating, mindfulness eating, which can be a whole other topic to talk about later on in the future. I'm very anti-diet culture. Diets are set up to fail. Again, that's a whole other topic. Diets almost killed me. I almost died twice from being on a diet of some sort. Again, a whole other whole other subject, whole other topic. Another reason, <clears throat> tame your stress. If stress continues, contributes to your emotional eating, try a stress management technique like yoga, meditation, deep breathing. Have a hunger reality check. Is your hunger physical or emotional? I do talk about this one as well. If you ate something a few hours ago and you don't have this rumbling stomach, you're probably not hungry. Give the cravings time to pass. Get support. You're more likely to give in to emotional eating if you lack good support. If you don't have that good support in your network, in your surroundings. Lean on people and friends or consider joining a support group or getting a coach to help you. Fight boredom. Instead of snacking when you're hungry, distract yourself. Substitute it's a, and substitute the healthy behavior, healthier behavior. Take a walk, watch a movie, play with your cat, play with your dog, do both. Go listen to music, read, surf the internet, call a friend. There's so many things that you can do to fight boredom instead of eating. Take away the temptation. Don't keep hard to resist comfort foods in your home. <laughs> if you feel hungry or sad, postpone your, postpone your trip to the grocery store because <laughs> until your emotions are in check, because you're going to go to the grocery store and you're going to buy all kinds of unwanted crap, what I call crap, C-R-A-P, carbonated beverages, refrained Refine, refine, uh, refine foods. Oh, wait, let me start over again. <laughs> Carbonated beverages, refined sugars, uh, artificial flavors, and processed foods. <laughs> Crap. But also don't deprive yourself. When you're trying to lose weight, you might limit calories too much. You might eat the same foods repeatedly and banish treats. This may just serve to increase those food cravings, especially in response to those emotions that you are feeling. Eat satisfying amounts of healthier foods, healthier foods. Enjoy an occasional treat and get plenty of variety to help curb those cravings. I offer what I call a craving elimination session to reframe those cravings, to help you have a better relationship with them. Snack healthy. If you feel the urge to eat in between uh, meals, choose a healthier snack, healthier snack, such as fruit, vegetables, hummus, or even a healthier dip. You notice I'm saying healthier instead of healthy? 
just make a conscious decision about that. Just make a, a conscious decision that I'm going to eat a healthier item than the one that I usually go to. I also eat nuts, unbuttered popcorn. I use olive oil when I'm making popcorn. I just use olive oil and salt. Tastes great. I don't need the butter. Or just a lower calorie version of your favorite food. What's your favorite food? See if it satisfies your craving. Learn from setbacks. If you have an episode of emotional eating, forgive yourself, forgive, forgive, forgive. And start the fresh the next day. Try to learn from the experience and make a plan for how you are going to prevent it in the future. Focus on the positive changes you are making in your eating habits and give yourself credit for making those changes that'll lead to better health. If you've tried self-help options and you've been there, done that, so many things over and over and over, and you still can't control that emotional eating, consider working with someone who coaches on that very subject. So I invite anyone watching and listening today to reach out to me, reach out to me for a free session where we will talk about everything from where you're at, where you wanna be, how to get there. That's it for Liza's BLTs today. Tune in next time for another rousing topic. And be sure to hit the subscribe button below for more of Liza's BLTs, as well as some other great content videos. So you all have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I will not be doing a BLT episode next week as I will be traveling. And uh, yes, take care, love yourself, take care of yourself, do what, what means necessary to love the body you're first and foremost, make yourself priority number one. All right, that's it for me today. Bye.